We've spent a lot of time talking about rookies lately, but let's talk about what really matters and what will get the Texans where they want to go. Let's talk about the sophomores or second year guys. If you want to be a well, actually hardo, let's go inside the locker room. Yeah. Uh, 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 uh. Yeah. It's the locker room on YouTube. You know what it is. Let's get it. Hey. Locker room. Yeah, we in the locker Spent the room. Spent last a lot of time yeah. the last month talking about rookies and drafts and all that type of stuff. And it and it's fun and it can be important. But the reality is with the Texans, especially with having the top two of the top three picks last year, uh, it's gonna be about the sophomores or second year guys if you want to be a well actually hardo. Uh, and speak in NFL terms. There are four second-year guys, uh, a.k.a. sophomores, on this team that are going to decide the overall fate of this ball club. Now, obviously, you're going to have to have to have the complementary pieces, but there are four sophomores on this squad that have high enough ceilings to where if they reach their potential, the sky is the limit for this ball club. And if they all do... I don't even want to jinx what could happen, but I think you all know where that's going. Let's start with C.J. Stroud. The C.J. Stroud ceiling is high. Uh, in year two, you saw what Joe Burrow did uh, early in his career, and, and if you look at C.J. Stroud, the way that he's already commanded this squad, uh, the way that the team has gravitated towards him, the fact that they've added weapons for him, they've improved the defense. Uh, the C.J. Stroud ceiling is all-pro caliber quarterback, franchise quarterback, and this time next year, We'll be talking about a guy that's a year away from being one of the highest paid guys in the league. He actually might not have to produce as statistically uh, as um, as impressive statistically as he did last year. Uh, but I think it I think it it's obvious that his ceiling is the ultimate ceiling. It's one of the best ceilings you can possess uh, in football. Sophomore number two, D'Amico Ryan's. We know what D'Amico's ceiling is. Uh, really, really good coach. Um, I think he did as good of a job as Shane Steichen did in the division. I actually don't think Shane Steichen gets uh, enough credit. Um, I will say, though, there are probably some inevitable growing pains that will come uh, with coaching games and high-pressure games that D'Amico is going to have to coach. We haven't really seen any clock management weaknesses. There hasn't been anything that has stuck out, but D'Amico is going to be tested. Uh, he's going to have to deal with uh, a, a lot more uh, attention, notoriety. The players are going to, as he talks about, uh, get more rat poison thrown at him. But D'Amico Ryan's ceiling is one of the better coaches in the NFL. The growing pains, much like CJ, are going to come. We, we, we might not even be able to forecast what they are yet. The Will Anderson ceiling is interesting because Will Anderson was a solid football player last year, didn't get as many sacks as you would like for him to get. If Will Anderson could become one of those guys that's able to get to the quarterback six extra times or something like that, or over the course of a season get to be a 15-sack guy, one of those game breakers uh, that wins you games individually, then that could be well, perhaps the most valuable uh, reaching of a ceiling that the Texans uh, could endure. You know the quarterback's obviously important, but if you have a game wrecker on defense as well, like a Max Crosby or something like that, and, and Will Anderson can get there, sky's the limit for him uh, as well and the Texans. And then the Bobby Slowick ceiling. This one's a little bit awkward because Bobby Slowick, very good first year as an offensive coordinator, uh, very good uh, offensive mind. You anticipate that eventually he's going to be a head coach. If he reaches the ceiling, that's great, but then you might have to replace him. A little bit awkward. A lot of talk about rookies lately, uh, but there are a lot of high ceilings. The C.J. Stroud, the Will Anderson ceiling, uh, they speak for themselves. So far, so good. Both uh, rookies of the year. Uh, D'Amico, going to be some growing pains. Bobby Slowick, kind of awkward. Because if he reaches it, might be bye-bye. Uh, those are the sophomore ceilings. Subscribe, like. Right along. Enough talk about rookies. Let's talk about what really matters because if these guys uh, reach their uh, their sophomore ceilings and they avoid sophomore slumps, then you're talking about a lot of exciting things around here. Locker room. Yeah, we in the locker room. Texas talk. Yeah, you know what we about to do. Localize every angle is what we really do. We the source. We the post of the city too. Landlock. Got the game in the headlock. Localize.